years ago years ago when i first had my daughter and i was i was young i was dealing with postpartum depression i really didn't have a lot of people on my side like literally i was almost homeless like i was struggling to make ends meet and i i, I was thinking about Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Teresa J. On my channel, I talk a little bit about everything. I do motivational videos. I bring my family in sometimes. I do vlogs. If I see a deal somewhere, I share in one of my favorite stores is Raw. So sometimes you will see me doing Raw um, videos. And I also like to do trending topics. So if that interests you, then I need for you to hit that subscribe button and join my family. If you are a returning subscriber, hey boo, thank you for coming back to my channel and showing me love. I so appreciate it. Okay, you guys, let's get into this clip. And then when we come back, we're we going to start talking about what we're going to talk about today. So jump, let's jump into the clip. Oh my God, that clip was so sad to watch. Kanye West has been all over social media. He's been in the news. He's been on the tabloids because of videos circulating from his presidential campaign. He is trying to run for president. Mentally, he is not right. There are a lot of things that I don't agree with that Kanye West says. But at the end of the day, when I saw this video, I saw that he needs help and he is human. And what is so sad is people are laughing at him. I saw so many memes on social media where people were making fun of him. Even people that I personally know were on social media just making fun of him. And it's so sad that when you see someone is not okay in the world we live in, people laugh instead of offering prayer or saying kind words we clearly know that he needs help but but you're basically a part of the problem when you're sitting there laughing at him because i can't imagine how it feels to be a public figure you know i do this youtube thing and i'm pretty sure people judge me but i'm not on a level with Kanye West where they judge every single thing that he does and he's in the public eye. And we have to do a better job of not laughing at people and just, if you don't have anything kind to say, don't say anything at all because people handle things differently. I know years ago, Kanye West lost his mom and he has mentally not been right ever since that happened. It's so sad that most people don't want to say when they're not okay because it's like the world we live in, you know, you see on social media where people have the perfect pictures, they're living life, that you're so used to seeing everything so perfect that when someone says that they're not okay, it's like, that's a bad thing. He really needs help. He needs help because we can really see that he's not okay. I don't think it's funny, even though I don't agree with him. I hope that he gets the help he needs, and I hope that his family helps him. But one thing I want you to do, if you know somebody is struggling and their mental health is not together, don't laugh at them. Pick up the phone. See what you can do to help them. Because a lot of people are going through things behind the scenes. But the difference between you and Kanye West and all these celebrities, we don't, we don't deal with our issues in the public eye. Like people don't see what we're going through because we don't share. So try not to laugh at people when they are, you know, having a hard time in life because I'm gonna tell you, life is not easy. Life is not easy and we cannot judge. Another celebrity that has been in the news is Tamar Braxton. 
she news reports say that she tried to commit suicide and i saw a lot of people judging her saying oh why would she do that that's selfish listen you cannot judge because you never you never know how a person feels in the inside people think just because you have money that that means perfect life happy you could have all of the money in the world and deep down inside be be deep down inside not be happy so i i felt for her because many of you may not know you you probably look at me and and, and see Oh, Teresa is always happy. Every video, she's smiling. Listen, I have my own weaknesses. There's been times that I've been depressed. Years ago, years ago when I first had my daughter and I was, I was young, I was dealing with postpartum depression. I really didn't have a lot of people on my side. Like literally, I was almost homeless. Like I was struggling to make ends meet and I, I i was thinking about committing suicide i really was so you can never you can never just sit here and say how could a person do that when you feel just just helpless and you just feel like nobody cares or you just feel like you're just going through so much sometimes some people think about that now do I have suicidal thoughts now? No, I don't. Is my life perfect? No, I just have learned how to handle certain things. When I was 19, 20 and I had my daughter, I was young. A lot of, a lot of things that I experienced, I didn't know how to handle. But just because someone is older or you feel they got money or they shouldn't be upset or they shouldn't be depressed, you can't, you can't judge people. We have to stop judging people because you never know what people are dealing with behind closed doors. Even with celebrities, you never know what they're dealing with. It doesn't matter what picture you see. It doesn't matter what post. Nobody has a perfect life. Just certain people learn how to handle certain situations. So... You know, if you know somebody who is struggling, encourage them. Don't knock them when they're down. A lot of times people commit suicide because they are really scared to say how they feel or they feel they can't go to anybody and they may do that or they get depressed. So if you know somebody is going through something, show them love. Also, we are still going through this pandemic. It's crazy how last year we were living life no mask and now we're wearing masks kids are not some some states are trying to send their kids to school some schools are making children do virtual learning and i can imagine how stressful it is for our single parents out there that have to work and they have to figure out how are they going to do virtual learning they may not have older children they may have younger children so it's just a lot going on in this world some people don't have jobs they may have gotten laid off i don't know if you guys saw the video that i did months ago i was laid temporarily laid off my job and i'm thankful that i was offered my job back i don't take that for granted i'm thankful that i have been able to make money I'm thankful that I haven't went out. It's a blessing, but there are some people out there that that are having hard times right now. There are some people out there that are just feeling really low right now and depressed. I can even say at one point since this pandemic has went on, I got kind of, you know, depressed and sad because I don't like sitting in the house. Like I, I was a homebody before this, but I would go out to dinner. I would do stuff. And yes, I can go out and I can wear a mask, but the numbers in Georgia, they're just too high that I don't want to take any chances. And I know too many people out there that have coronavirus. And I know some people that have passed away. So I'm like, this is not a joke. So I have been finding ways to try to keep myself busy. I have been working out. I don't know if y'all can tell. I have lost some weight. I've been watching what I eat. I've been trying to meditate. I've been trying to do a little bit of, of reading. I also have started a business. I will talk about that in another video, but I've been trying to do things to keep myself busy. But these are trying times, you know, 
I'm not going to just say, oh, it'll get better. You know, really, I don't have all of the answers. I have just been trying to pray and be positive, but I understand it's hard out there. It's really hard, and I am just praying that things get better. So drop me a comment down below. How do you feel about this Kanye West situation and this Tamar Braxton situation? Have you ever been depressed? Have you ever felt really sad? Did you, what did you do to get out of it? Did you get counseling? What did you do, you know, to, to get out of that slump? And how do you control your mental health? Do you exercise like me? Do you like to read? What do you do to keep yourself going? And what have you been doing? during this pandemic you guys if you haven't make sure you subscribe to my channel I want you to be a part of the family drop me a comment down below and turn that notification bell on so when the next video is uploaded you will be able to see it and always remember you can do anything that you put your mind to doing and I just want to tell you thank you so much for watching my video. Stay encouraged. We are going to get through these hard times. And I just want to say I love you guys. And until next time, this is Teresa J signing out. Bye, you guys.